If it's been a while since you've been behind the wheel or your first time, the Super C has a lot of buttons, switches, and knobs that are quite a bit different than what you're going to find in your ordinary car or SUV. So let's go inside, go over the control panel, and show you how everything works. Starting with your center stack, the display screen for your radio, side view, and rear view cameras takes front and center. Your HVAC controls are located below. Here you have your window defroster and your switch to activate the heated side view mirrors. Your airflow controls are here. To the right of that, how cold do you want your AC? This is the max setting and where you can recirculate the air in the cabin. This knob controls your fan speed and the one on the right controls your temp. To the right of that, your traction control system and a light letting you know if the passenger airbag is on or off. Here is a 12 volt outlet for something like a GPS or charging a phone and whatnot. Directly below that, you'll find this switch that allows you to select your front or rear fuel tank. Moving to the left, a bank of four auxiliary switches if you want to add something that would need switched 12 volt power. To the left is the brake control for your trailer. Hit the minus button to decrease braking to the trailer plus to increase the braking. You can also use the trailer brakes manually by squeezing the slide knobs toward each other. You would only want to use the manual braking mode if the trailer started swaying when driving in mountainous or wet conditions. To the left of that, another 12 volt outlet. Below is where you can turn the passenger airbag on or off. This is a coin holder. Sliding to the steering wheel, the top two buttons are for your cruise control, on and off, cancel and resume. The set button along with accelerate and decrease speed are at the bottom. Pressing the info button brings up important and useful information, such as your odometer and trip meters, how many miles until the tank is empty, and your average miles per gallon. These arrows will show your fuel economy as a bar graph when you are moving. You can also set a timer for your trip and see your outside temp. You can also get a quick systems check by pressing the reset button. It displays oil life, exhaust fluid, how many hours are on the engine, how long it's been running at idle, and notify you if all your doors are closed. You get a brake system check. You can check your trailer brake game or even see if the trailer is connected. With the stalk on the right, this is where you choose your gear or set your transmission to the tow haul mode. You can manually change gears with the plus and minus buttons. Wipers, bright lights, directionals, and side video cameras are activated with the stalk on the left. Taking a look at the gauges, the tachometer is on the left, speedometer on the right. There are four gauges at the top, working from left to right, your turbo pressure, engine temp, transmission temp, and fuel gauge. Left of the gauges are your headlight and parking lamp controls and the dash light dimmer knob. Below that, about knee level, is your emergency start. On the driver's window sill is the adjustment for the mirrors. On the armrest are the locks and window controls. For more owner's resources, visit ThorMotorCoach.com.